All right. I see a red light. We're going all the way to Texas. Uh, we got the Mayan, and we also got Biggie, a.k.a. Tyreek. Uh, introduce your guy. T -t 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 people will figure this out, but this is special. Yes, sir. Well, I'm Tyreek. I mean, <laughs> this is Tyreek. This is Tyreek. It's the Mayan. I'm the older brother. It's my little brother. Yeah. Right. But with that, we're going to get to this. I mean, I met uh, both of you, but particularly DeMaya and De La Salle. And then something happened over the weekend, and now everyone knows Tyreek, a.k.a. Biggie. And so maybe, maybe that's where we start. Uh, Biggie, how did you tell people what we're talking about? Uh, so over the weekend, I think, yeah, on Saturday, uh, I went to a Tyreek Hill camp, and uh, I just casually just was going through the camp. Then we started doing one-on-ones, and then Tyreek Hill started guarding people. Then I went up and then made a spectacular catch. Right. And, and when did you know it was a, a big deal? I mean, when did you know the video? It was really uh, Monday because that's when – I got back from um, my morning workouts with my school, and then Overtime posted me on their Instagram. Overtime, she's gonna post me on their Instagram. And then, yeah, then everybody started posting me, like Sports Center, Bleacher Report, ESPN. That's pretty much where it all started, and it started going viral and stuff like that. Uh, Demaya, has this changed your brother's personality? I mean, he's still your little brother. Go ahead. Of course, of course, nah. He, he's still, he's still biggie. You know, we gotta keep him humble in the family. Right. No, but that's also uh, – well, both of you guys would have memories of De La Salle. DeMayan, you played. Biggie, you watched. Uh, yeah. DeMayan, you're, you're the last state champion, 2015. To tell people about that team. Oh, uh, well, yeah, it was a great team full of great players. As you see, Devin Asiasi, he's, he's in the league now. He's going to Patriots, you know. I mean, he just had a plenty of uh, people that went D1 and stuff like that. It was just a great bond, a great team that, you know, that he came together and played, like, really well, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just a bunch of talent, you know what I mean? Like, that's why, like, I, I feel like that's also kind of why Biggie's humble. You know, he's seen a, a lot of that talent, like, how good players are really are, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. No, well, speaking of that, let me see if I can test the uh, – how do I share the screen? Let's see if I – maybe I can't. Uh, let me see here. I have a photo. Let's see here. Oh, share a screen. Here we go. Let's see. Desktop. Let's see. Are you guys looking at my desktop? Yes, sir. All right. Let's see if this pops up here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ex explain, explain what's going on here. Uh, I think that was my – yeah, that's my junior year. You know, right. Um, we going out to the game. We going to start the game. Was it, I think it might have been either the start of the game or halftime. No, you know? I looked it up. It's actually it was 6.51 p.m. So it's the, and it's the Logan game. And uh, you know, I, I remember this photo, and I knew Biggie was in it. You're in it too, Demand. This is legendary. Yes, sir. Biggie, Biggie was up there, green people. I think. High fives and stuff. I think I just came from a basketball game. What am I wearing? Yeah, I think that's, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's You do. You're, you're, exactly. You're, 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 you have a tank top on, Biggie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I just came from a basketball game. But, but what, what's your memory of watching your brother and then the other guys on the team? Uh, I just remember them like blowing people out. Like most of most of the games, they just blew. Every time I looked at the scoreboard, it was like a lot to a little. It was crazy. Cool. And, and then when we're is, is it back to me now? Do you guys see me, or is the photo still there? I oh, know. Back, right, back to you. Back to me. Okay. Yeah. No, but as I said, but even that team you mentioned, uh, Ossie Ossie. There was Boss Sweeney. Talk, talk about number twenty-eight, uh, Antoine Custer. Hey, Antoine. Big yeah. one. You know, that's that's my boy right there, you know. He he for sure is one of the best running backs I've ever seen. And it's that's not I've seen a lot of running backs, you know what I mean? So yeah, I, I think Antoine, Antoine, I hope I hope he gets a chance to go to the league too, you know, because he's gonna do some big things. You know, Eastern Washington, you know, he's going crazy every every year. Every year he's going crazy, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I hope he gets an opportunity and all that. But yeah, that's my guy for sure. Right. And then Biggie, other than your brother, who who do you remember watching? Uh, I remember watching Sweeney. I remember him, like, whenever he used to run the ball, I swear, he always scored. He always scored whenever he ran the ball out the pocket. Like, Sweeney, that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe, he would, maybe he would, that, uh, uh, Demaya, talk about uh, Sweeney's leadership. Oh, for sure. I was just going to bring that up. You know, Sweeney, I feel like one of the – one of the best leaders I've met, like, you know what I'm saying? He's not the biggest, but, you know, he was a great quarterback, especially with the offense we run, you know what I'm saying? He 
run, as you say, run the ball. He always makes a play. And he's really good at, you know, talking to others, you know, getting us pumped up before games and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, no, I think he, had, he was a senior that year. But the year before, he was a captain as a junior. And then, yeah. were you a junior on that team? Yeah, at that, at that photo, I was a junior. Right, yeah. right, right. And you know, then also, what about what about your mom and dad? I particular your mom loves football. I mean, and and she's lo- she she's loud in a good way. Yeah, loud every game you gonna hear you gonna hear whether you do we doing good doing bad, you know you gonna hear exactly. And, and tell people about Del Sal. You know, it's one of the most famous uh, high schools, but the stands are about what about six or eight deep, and also the the, the track the, the tracks on the outside, so the fans are right there. Sometimes I would hear your mom and think. Yeah, she's standing right behind me, you know, and uh, no. What, what about this? Uh, you guys are now in, in Texas. Uh, to tell people about that. How did that happen? Well, I mean, uh, yeah, our family, like, you just, it's getting kind of expensive for us out there in California. You know, California is an expensive state to live in, you know what I'm saying? We have family out here, too. So we moved out of here, you know, we started going to school. And my mom, you know, just, you know, my mom and dad, they just, you know, working, getting us through life, you know. No, it's, it's a good opportunity, good jobs. And as you, the economics, when you make money in Texas, it's worth more. Exactly. Uh, other, than, other than that, tell people about the humidity. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you go outside right now, it's hot. It's hot, you sweating. Like degrees wise, like California gets a little hotter, but especially during the summertime, maybe like 100 or something in, like, in Concord and stuff like that. But out here, it's, it's 90 degrees, but there's no breeze, no none of that. It's hard to breathe. It's just humid. It's humid. It's humid. That's it. To tell people the, 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 uh, you'll take 100 in Concord rather than 85 in Texas with the humidity any day, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, I, I just thought something else to mind. You had an early introduction to Texas. Remember the trip? Uh, was it yeah. uh, the first? Yeah. To, yeah. Tell people about that. When you get off the plane, it was. Especially since me, I got asthma. So, like, I got off the plane, I like, hard to breathe and all of that. So, yeah, it, it, it was tough. But it gets you, you – you get a couple of days, you get accustomed to it, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we, we're we cool. Like, um, I can breathe well and all that stuff like that, you know. So, it, it, was, a, it was a great experience to go to Texas, especially, like, that was the more – that was Dallas when we was at it. So, it, uh, it was a good experience to see Texas before we came out here. Right. And it, well, also, we learned about thunderstorms. Yeah. We were telling people about the lightning that night. Yeah, it was. It stopped the whole game. We had to like it was. It was delaying the whole game. And now that we actually live out here, it'd be hot and it'd be hot during the whole day, and it was storm at night. Like mm-hmm. it's, the weather's crazy. Like it's crazy in California too, but it's cra- it's crazy yeah. out here. No, no, we we don't get those thunderstorms. And then yeah. uh, then Biggie, what you're a, a freshman and you'll be a sophomore. What, what's your position? Uh, well, this last um, freshman year, I was playing running back. I was playing running back in corner. And then uh, this year, I think I'm gonna play, be playing slot and corner. I think you'll be, I think you'll be playing slot after what happened on Saturday. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. And sir. then, what about Tyreek smiled back at you? Did he talk to you at all afterwards? No, um, he he really didn't get the chance because, like, right after I made that catch, they like um, they it was like ending. Like they they started ending everything. And then um, right after, he had to leave really fast. So I didn't get to um, talk to him at all. But, but he, know, he, know, he knows about it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then w- what about, I'm trying to think, uh, what's going on in Texas in terms, like in California, we're about to be shut down. Uh, are you guys still playing? What's going on in Texas? Oh, uh, well, I don't think, I think the season's still a go. But I don't, I don't know if they're going to cancel or not, but they haven't said anything. Like, in our district, they haven't said anything yet about canceling it. Right, but, but when you practice, is it social distancing or are you guys uh, uh, hitting each other? Um, no, we're not hitting each other yet, but, like, uh, we're, doing, we're running, like, one-on-ones and seven-on-seven right now. But that's after, like, four weeks of uh, – Okay, yeah, so, yeah, you are a little ahead of California. Uh, no seven-on-sevens here. And then, yeah. Demaya, tell people, I mean, well, actually, what about, Demaya, what are your, some, some of your memories of Dallas South? Oh, I mean, summer, you know, you can't, you can't, like, <laughs> <laughs> summer, yeah, it's just, it's, 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 it brings you closer, because, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot, of, you go through a lot, you know, a lot of tough training, you know, the real grind, like, you know, you see, when you go through, like, day and stuff like that, and you go through a summer with De La Salle, especially with each level, it gets, it gets it gets harder, you know what I'm saying? So, me being on every level, you know, I, I've been through all the, 
all the summers and stuff like that. And it's just, it's tough, you know, but once you get to the season, it makes it a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? We're blowing people out and stuff like that. And we get ready to play hard teams and stuff like that, you know? Right. Hard teams out of the gate, but tell people that don't know about the tires, about the sledgehammers, about the circuits. I mean, does Biggie know? <laughs> the circuits. That's <laughs> now that is what I think brings us up, like tears us apart from other, other teams, you know, the circuits, I coach Allen ball and, and you know, they, they, they're real creative with how they, you know, get us stronger and prepare us for, you know, a season and stuff like that. Circuits are tough, you know, especially when it's hot, you know, it doesn't, it's, we outside, it doesn't really matter, you know, and we get conditioning while we do that. You know, you go to circuit, then you'll go do liners, you go do track, and then you go do tires, you know, and that's, and that's, that's all with your legs being sore, your arms being sore, you know, and, you know, it's just, it's just tough. You're going to need an ice bath, a hot bath, you know, Epsom salt. You're going to need all of that after. Right. Well, that's it. You, you can handle the 400s. Everybody, tell people about the 400s. The 400s, oh, my. The time 400s, man. It's just, you know, it's, it's something, you know, you just got to push mentally. It's all, it's all a mental <laughs> game, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to you, you don't want to quit because you don't want to quit on your teammates. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's hard, you breathe the heavy and stuff like that. But you know, you push yourself to you push yourself to your limit. And if you think you reached your limit, you keep pushing because you're not gonna give up on your teammates. You're not gonna give up on your team. So, yeah, Biggie, did you ever see this or you just heard about it these the, the summer? I just heard about it. That's, <laughs> and <laughs> that's all I wanted to. Cause I, I, yeah, I'm glad I haven't done that yet because I probably pass out. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Yeah. Oh, your brother did it. You know, uh, that's it. I think you either you do it or you don't. You know, uh, I'm trying to think. We mentioned uh, Coach Allenba. Uh, uh, what, what are your memories of him? Coach Allenba. Coach Allenba. He's a he's a great guy. You know, he's a. Um, you know, you meet him and you like you don't know what to expect from him. You know, he's not. He don't smile a lot. You know, it's kind of rare when he smiles. But no, he's a funny guy. You know, he he he's very smart. And, you know, he pushes us. He, he, I feel like he just wants the best for, the best for everybody on the team, no matter, like, bench, starter, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, gonna, he wants you to be the best you could be mentally in school, on the field, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think, yeah, Coach Allen was a great guy. Right. And then, uh, Biggie, were you down at the academy? I can't remember. Yes, I went yeah. to – yeah, I went to De La Salle Academy. Yeah. Fifth grade to do seventh grade. Yeah, to tell people about what the academy is. Well, the academy, when I first got there, I really didn't want to go. Like, fifth grade, yeah, I didn't want to go. I wanted to be, like, with all my friends in my um, old elementary school. Like, when I went there in my fifth grade year, it was fun. I met a lot of new people. And, like, I now um, all those people from, like, the academy, I consider them, like, really close friends now. And I still talk to them to this day, some of them. And, like, yeah, it's, I think um, my friend – Timothy, Timothy uh, Clay, okay. he goes there now. He goes there now. Yeah, he played football over there too. And then for you, how many people have found you now in the last few days that you hadn't talked to in years? Quite a bit. Quite a <laughs> bit. Quite a bit. And then, what about like has your Instagram following grown? Yeah, I went from seven hundred to like seven thousand. <laughs> So you just were sitting there and then you kept on getting followers? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. nothing wrong with that. And uh, I'm trying to think, with the relationship, What what is the age? Is it like six or seven years? Or what's the difference in age? Four. Five. Four. Yeah, five. five, yeah. five. yeah, five. Yeah, five. Well, yeah, we, uh, we, we can do that. We can do summer math. Uh, Demayan, how old are you? Yeah, I'm 20. He's 15. Yeah. Then. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we just did a Zoom math. It, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So last year, were you both? So also, I remember you went to Hawaii for a year, and then Grand Canyon, and you're you're in a high school in Texas. Did you both get sent home uh, with with uh, online? What what happened to you guys in March? Oh, um, March. So right after I went to uh, Hawaii, I we we just moved out here. Right. So I went to uh, I went to college out here for a community college for a couple. Sure. And then, so that's why I'm just attending uh, now this fall. At Grand right. Canyon. Okay. You'll be going to tell people where you're going to be in the fall. Yeah. Grand Canyon University. Right. Okay. And so then what happened to you then in March at the community college? Were you uh, online or did you make it through? Online. And, and what about you, Biggie, in high school? Um, in March. They sent y'all. His courses, I think your course is online too. Because remember, you had to use my computer. Oh, yeah. 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 No, 
No, no, not to bust your chops, Biggie. You would know in March and April. Were you going to school or were you, were you home? I wasn't going to school. There um, you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, and, and then, so you'll be, so last year, you would, well, what, you played a freshman football? Yes, I played. Okay. And, and then everyone puts together like a, a highlight uh, tape. I mean, you'll have to get more plays. You, you already got a highlight tape. I mean, uh, who, who recorded that, by the way? Uh well the video I posted my yeah. mom recorded that and you, then, your, your mom did that Natalie recorded yeah it. you can hear in the background yeah. that's right that's right I, I heard her she she should get that's the problem with the internet she should get the credit for that other people have taken credit it's your mom right yeah I think there was like four more other camera angles like that um I just posted one today that was like that's probably the like the best one and it's in slow motion and all that. <laughs> And then there's another one from the side angle that was like where my mom was. And then there was one like um, a little bit like behind where I was. And then, yeah. No, so, so again, so you, you did it, but you didn't see the video until like the next day or two days later or uh, no, you saw, you saw your mom's, but, uh, and, and then, but it didn't explode until a, a couple days later. Yes. Okay. And, and did you come home and show your brother? Actually, my mom sent it to me because I think he was the, where did y'all go after uh, the football training? Oh, I think y'all on, on his way home or whatever. Yeah, because I had um, basketball games before that. Yeah. So then my mom's saying, she's like, look at your brother. I was like, okay. And then yeah. I saw the video. I'm like, oh, Biggie going crazy, you know? So then I'm like, oh, we, I was like, I tell Biggie right after, I was like, Biggie, you need to post this. Like, he was going, like, that's a good video. You're going right. to get some, you know what I'm saying? So I, uh, I was like, Biggie, you know, post it or whatever. And uh, send it to him um, like a bunch of people. We tag at first. We posted it, and then I had a. I created them a whole new Twitter, uh, because it's kind of weird. His is kind of like weird before, so like I kind of uh, created him a new Twitter, and I I tagged like heck of people, you know. And then I had him posted on Instagram, and I had him tag heck of people too. And you know, next thing you know, you know, they were posting it, and you know, all that stuff. Right, and who I I found you. Uh, who else have have you done done some other interviews? So who has found you? I did an interview with TMZ. TMZ a, wait a minute. TMZ? You, yeah. you know about TMZ? They hang out in front of restaurants trying to get videos, videos, videos of celebrities. You're on yeah. TMZ with Kim Kardashian? You got to be kidding me. So what, what did TMZ ask you? Um, they pretty much asked me the same thing. They, they like, asked me um, about, like, my life in California and, like, where I was born and stuff like that. And then they talked to me about the catch. And what's happening like before they catch yeah pretty much and then i had another interview with kctv5 and they asked me like the kind of the same questions too right uh, but, but those guys didn't know about uh your brother and your history of del south yeah i don't think so no no i'm joking and uh, and then yes yeah, so demine you saw that D did you have any idea we'd get this big you know it was your idea to get it out there yeah, I mean, I didn't think, I don't, I don't know. I didn't know what to expect, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was just hoping the best for my brother, you know, getting him exposure and all that. Because a, a lot of stuff, you know, in college, especially when it comes to recruiting nowadays, it's more kind of politics, you know what I'm saying? Like, sure. a, a player can be so good, but he could be overlooked by another player who's not good, but has more, like, you know, exposure. So it's like, you know, just trying to get my brother out there because he's, he's actually, he's a really good player, really good yeah. talent. It, 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 you're Tyreek. But you've been Biggie for a long. Why are you Biggie? Uh, <laughs> uh, my mom's been calling me that since like I was a kid because like I I would, like always like to eat when I was young. <laughs> they always had to feed me like every couple couple minutes. Mm -hmm. Hey. Okay, you you're, are you, are you still eating a lot? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, and and so do you, uh, do mind do you call him Biggie or Tyreek? Probably depends. When he, when you get mad at him, do you call him Tyreek? No, I call him Biggie, he Biggie Biggs, you know, Biggie or Biggs for me. Okay. And I'm trying to think, what, what else to cover? It's just neat to see you guys sitting next to each other, you know, uh, and um, and also you guys, we had to do this. Do you both have to work out tonight? What's going on? Uh, I did train tonight? Yeah, I have training today. I have training at um, 7 today and out here in Texas. It, yeah. That's the other thing we had to figure out, time zones. Uh yeah, exactly. Well, you know that when you check with your friends, I'm two hours behind you, you know, so we had to figure out Texas time, you know, and so uh, uh, I think, well, maybe that's the life of living in Texas. 
I mean, other than the heat and the humidity, how is it different than California? Well, um, the people, the people are really different out here. Like people in California are like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but like, it, they're like, it's two different sets of people. Like Texas people act a different way than California people. But like, other than that, uh, football, football to me is like the same. And like basketball, I'm playing basketball out here too. It's, it feels the same to me. It doesn't really feel like different at all. Right. What about the, the, the crowds? Are there, are there more people at the varsity games? Oh, oh yes, yes. Oh, okay, yeah. And, and, and Demai, what's, what's your, uh, what have you learned about Texas? Uh, I think I think it's more like, you know, Texas is a football state, but it's like, I feel like it's just more like certain parts, you know what I'm saying? Like Dallas, Houston, and, you know, they're bigger areas for football. But uh, Texas football, it, it, it's cool, you know. It's, it's just a, a California and Texas, well, especially the Bay Area, it's just a lot different, you know what I'm saying? I think mom just came in right now. Have your mom poke, your head, poke her head in here. Uh, let me go see. Let me go see what she got. That'd be great to see her. <laughs> yeah, our varsity games, people from so like out here, our there's, it's like, so you go to an elementary school, and that elementary school is connected to a middle school, and that middle school connected to the high school, and and like so like people from the middle school will go to the games. People like that don't go to the uh, that don't play on the football team will go to the game in like the high school and, and all that. And so it's like, like the whole town is there. Yeah, pretty much. And like uh, there's two schools out here, so like sometimes the other school comes to our games, and then sometimes we go to their games. And then what what happens at the end of the year when you when you play each other? That must be a madhouse. Yes, yes, yes. There's there's well, th this year I don't think we're playing them because they're um, a division higher than us. Okay. Oh, Last, I think. We'll, what's the name? What's the name of your high school? Uh, my school is called Georgetown East. Yeah. East. Okay, gotcha. And then the other school is just called. Wow, Georgetown. Natalie! Great, great, great to see you. And you too. How are you doing? I'm all right. No, I, I, I'm getting the lowdown from your boys, and you, you get to need, need more credit. That was your video. Um, one of them was my video, and then of course everybody upgraded, making my video look like it's garbage. But it's okay; I accept that. I'll take it. No, but 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 your video has your voice in it. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, that was me yelling, and I was the one that was like, "Oh," because I was like, "He just caught on, right. he just caught on a NFL player." Yeah. Exactly. No, that's what before you got here. I was telling uh, Demayan and Biggie. That's what I remember. Your 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 loud voice in a good way. You went, absolutely. You went, <laughs> me and Marlene, that's what, that's what we did. You, you, you beat me to, exactly. Uh, cats will, that's why I joke with these guys. I would hear you guys, and I think you're standing right behind me, and you're like six or eight rows up, you know. Uh, no. In the middle of the stands on the 50-yard line at the very top. Exactly, exactly. But, that, but that's the difference between Del Sal and, uh, and Texas. Del Sal has eight rows of, fan, eight rows of um, uh, bleachers. How, how big are the bleachers in Texas? Bigger, right? Uh, they're big, but the school doesn't have no art for not East U, but Georgetown. Those oh, are Georgetown's way are way bigger. Yeah, they're big, but the thing about it is the difference is is that the crowd for De La Salle is much different than the crowd out here to me. So Corrected. yeah, you know, you you just miss that because De La Salle has a whole different feeling. Like you don't, you know, you have top notch coaches. You just have the structure because you know I don't play games, so. It's just a different situation that said, you know, for me, I'm like, it said Demayan up for fantastic for, things. Yeah, for, 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 set, tell that, set him up for life. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, and honestly, if it, I now regret that he's not going there, but. but right. No, but it's, it's, it's economics. Uh, your kids know this. You, you've yeah. got good jobs in Texas. And with a good job in Texas, you live better than you do out here. Uh, tell people about that. Right. You yeah. know, it's just I feel like education wise and trainer wise and stuff like that, it would be right. It, it set him up for some good stuff. But, you know, what are you going to do? Exactly. And uh, it's just different paths for different different for both your boys. But if you don't go to Texas, Biggie doesn't meet uh, Tyree Kill. Well, that's what my husband called me in the middle. He must have just had an epiphany because he called me like at 10 o'clock in the morning. He's like, you know what I was just thinking about? 
And I was like, what will? And he's like, if we would have left, he wouldn't have been at that camp. I was like, yep. okay. <laughs> like in the middle of doing all my accounting. Okay. <laughs> and, and the other thing, I know him as Biggie. He's Tyreek. It was, people don't know it was Tyreek and Tyreek. I mean. That is I, very true. Yeah, exactly. And he, he tells me. Into his name for the, you know, for a quick minute until probably now. Yeah. But I don't think he even realized that his name was Tyreek. The only difference is one spelled with a K and one spelled right. with a K. And then Biggie was telling me yeah, you can. He was eating so much, he became Biggie. Uh, you gave him. Plus, he was a pig. I gave him that name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. He, yeah. You know, little porker and born really early, so we just. Yeah. So I just he just kept on getting big and just eating every hour. So I just was like, he's a pig, and I just called him Biggie, and I just call him Biggie forever. He's gonna yeah. be. On, he's gonna be like I tell him all the time. You're gonna be like 55 years old, and I'm still gonna be calling you Biggie. Right, exactly. Well, his brother calls him Biggie. Uh, I, I call him Biggie, you know. Uh, and then also, I, I, before you got here, I, I found the photo. Uh, you, you remember that photo? Yeah. Uh, yes, I mean, and I forgot that Damayan was in it, you know. It, I mean, it's just amazing. That, uh, yeah, I mean, that was a special night. Yes, and then remember that one little clip that you, actually, you guys got also where they did a quick little interview on him and something about him trying to – you, somebody asked him about, well, where are you going to be out on this field pretty soon? And he's like, yeah, I'm going to get on this field real soon or something. It was some kind of clip like that was so right. long ago. I should have recorded it and kept it. because Right. Was no, but, but now you guys even got a bigger clip. I'm trying to think how, how, how we wrap up here. Well, that's what I should ask. Is he still doing chores around the house? Does this change his personality? Um, no. He uh -huh. still is very humble because he knows better. He knows, you know, they, I mean, at the end of the day, he still has a lot of work. I told him now you got to work even harder because nobody's, if you drop a ball, that's all people are going to talk about. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's <laughs> it. Enjoy the moment. You have that clip, but that clip is last week. You got to build on that clip. You know, Demaya knows this. I'm trying to think, it's just wonderful to get all you guys here, to see you guys. How do we wrap up? I'll give, I'll give each of you the final word. Uh, go ahead, Demaya, and we'll go, we'll go down the road. Uh, well, you know, I'm just proud of my brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm glad he's getting this exposure and everything, but he's I'm just telling him, you just got to work hard, you got to keep working, you know? But I'm proud of him, you know? Finally getting, you know, doing his thing. Very powerful. Uh, Biggie? Yeah, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, I know that I need to uh, keep working, because I know this is not, just because this happened, it's just going to bring in heck of stuff, like offers and stuff. But like other than that, um, I, I'm glad that I that this happened. Yeah, no, just stay humble, and you're young. And uh, Natalie, all I'm saying is he needs to keep his head in the books. His grades need to stay on point, and you know, because if you get hurt, the mind knows all about this. If you yes, get sir. hurt, and that's going to be it. So you have to have a good education to back that up. But I wish him all the luck in the world. Either there way, no, he has the foundation. Demayan uh, set the bar high on and off the field. And as I said, you're, you're both your boys are going to be uh, winners in life. No, this is wonderful. Uh, let me, let me, let me st stop the stream. I'll talk to you for a couple moments here afterwards. This is wonderful. All right. Thank you.